All right, I'm Brian Jones. I'm Sheila Ferguson. And we're with A Little Shop of Physics, and we're going to teach you some things about electricity related to the kit, which we've recently provided to the Poudre School District schools through the generous support of the Faros Foundation from the Bohemian Foundation, or the Faros Fund from the Bohemian Foundation. So we're going to start by talking about charges. In matter made of charged particles, they're positive and negative. Mm -hmm. And how can we demonstrate this? Well, we can demonstrate this with a roll of tape. So we're going to start with tape. And it turns out, when I pull tape off the roll, when I, the piece of tape that comes off attracts more positive, holds on to more positive charges. And so the tape that comes off the roll is actually charged. And I can tell it's charged because it attracts my hand. And so the tape has a positive charge on it. Now Sheila's going to pull another piece of tape off the roll, and we've got two pieces of tape which are positively charged. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And what's going to happen? Two pieces of positively charged tape, and there's a force between them, and how would you describe that force? It's repelling. It's repelling. It's repelling. Because if you have the same sign of charges, two positives, they will repel. Same thing will happen if I have two negatives, but what would happen if I had a positive and a negative? I'll have this to Betsy. Let's check this out. Hmm. <laughs> So here's a piece of tape. It's actually two pieces of tape which are stuck together. May so I pull one side? Sheila's going to take one side. I'm going to take the other side. We'll pull them apart. My tape pulled away the positive charges, which means Sheila's side is left with negative charges. And the two pieces of tape now attract very strongly. So the opposite charges will attract. Very cool. <laughs> and that's how we're able to determine the presence of the charges, is by looking at the forces between the charges. And now, we've got another device that we can use to create charges. And the charging happens by contact. The tape makes charges because you have really good contact between the sticky side and the shiny side. And when you pull it apart, the charges separate unequally. Inside these rods, there's little rollers, and there's a rubber belt that goes over the rollers, and they have two different kinds of rollers. And when the rubber belt goes over the rollers, it separates charges, and it happens just by contact. And these things charge up Posit positively. positively. Yes. Now, if we go ahead and, and turn these on, they develop a positive charge. Mm -hmm. And how can we tell? Oh, heavens to Betsy, wait a minute. Tape has a positive charge. Oh, what do you predict? Oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's pushing this tape away like crazy. And so the wand definitely has a positive charge. But you can do something more magical with the, with the wands. All right. I think you should demonstrate. I will. I have a piece of mylar here, and it has a thin metallic coating. And I'm going to drape it over my fun fly stick. And now, when I turn it on, Ooh, it's, it's pushing apart. It is. Ooh, <laughs> it, it has that same positive charge. I give it a little bit more. Oh yeah. And now, there we go. So what's happened is a little positive charge got transferred to the ring. All the parts of the ring repel all the other parts of the ring. So it makes itself into this wonderful round shape. But it also repels my wand and, my. and Sheila's wand. Oh, yeah. But it's attracted to objects which are conductors. Like if you put your hand out there, oh, yeah. Oh. And you can hear a little <laughs> spark, and now it's... Now it's discharged. Now it's discharged. But we can charge it up again. If we put it over the wand, give it a little bit of charge. And you can see the charge is starting to increase. And there we go. I love how the positive charge just continues. It's still part of the wand. Awesome. So it's and, it's po and the ring is positively charged, as are the wands. And that's our introduction. <laughs> to charges and the forces between charges. And now we're going to use those to put some electricity through circuits in the next segment.